Kitchen or International Hispanic Network's purpose and focus is to try to get more uh, Latino managers, Latino individuals within local government. So that's one purpose. The second purpose is to try to serve as a resource to communities that have large Latino populations or growing Latino populations. The focus here was around inclusivity and also um, around trying to have a, uh, a conversation because sometimes it's very difficult, it's uncomfortable for some people to have the conversation about ethnic and racial minorities, the change in demographics, the change in populations. And so the idea was to be able to do that today in a safe environment uh, by providing data, by providing uh, resources, by providing perspective. This is exactly what is needed in our nation today. Uh, this focus on local elected officials, local government officials doing things in a professional way, developing talent. The hope is that we keep in mind who we're serving and that it's, it's a very diverse group, but yet we don't want to look at them strictly as, as individual diverse groups, but how do we provide that on an equal and what we could refer to as, uh, as inclusivity and how do we bring all that process together. It's no longer a question. People now know that don't judge someone by the color of their skin or their sexual background. Judge them by their ability um, as individuals. And we're doing that more and more in the country. And that's why you're seeing more and more people with diverse backgrounds who are governors or mayors or county commissioners or city council people. That's what America is about and that's what will make America even greater in the future. My hope is that everyone will be able to look within themselves, reflect a little and say what can I do differently or what can, what can I do more of so that we can advance the representation of local government so that's more representative of the community. I think that it was a, a, a true, true uh, testimonial in terms of what we are doing, but yet what we need to continue to do in the future. And I think all of that helps to make people feel more comfortable about talking about diversity and about the changing complexion of America. And we'll all have to do that to make this country better.